One of the most important tools that Dr. G utilizes during the autopsy is also one of the smallest and sharpest, the scalpel. Trusty tool to get inside the body is gonna be our scalpel and a very sharp blade. Good to have a sharp scalpel, it actually is less dangerous. It's once you have the dull scalpel and you're fighting with it, you tend to uh, cut yourself more readily. When I started, I did the whole autopsy with a knife because it was considered too time consuming to use a pair of scissors. And, um, but unfortunately, those statistics back then were that uh, pathologists, just like surgeons, cut themselves 3.5 .5 times a year. And so, uh, rightly so, uh, the forensic techs in this office very smartly have gone to using scissors to do most of the evisceration. You're less likely to cut yourself because that's where you're going to get in trouble uh, with any kind of bloodborne pathogens here in the morgue. It's not breathing them in so much, it's cutting yourself. The scalpel can slice through skin and soft tissue handily. What it cannot do is cut through a rib cage. Now, the one thing we do have to get by is you're going to have to open that chest plate. There are several tools that can be used to open a rib cage in an autopsy. One specialty instrument is a pair of rib cutters, but they are not Dr. G's favorite. This is one of the tr true autopsy tools I know about, but I just hate it. I mean, it's made just to cut the ribs, and I think it does a lousy job. Now, what does a really good job are these garden shears. And why this does a good job is because I can get better leverage, and you can really cut it easily. And this is just, you know, garden pruning shears. Uh, you know, get them at any of your local hardware stores. That's what we do.